Good afternoon, my dear students. Hello. Good afternoon, teacher. <laughs> How are you today? Fine. <laughs> oh, you are sick. You are sick. Oh, I'm so sorry for that, Tatiana. Okay. <laughs> what do you have, Tatiana? Good afternoon, Anna. Do you have runny nose? Runny nose? Yes, do you have cough? <coughs> do you have headache? No. No headache. Fever? Solo picazón en la garganta. Fiebre todavía no. Okay, so you have like a sore throat. A sore throat. <laughs> okay, look at Anita. She has been to Panama. <laughs> Welcome, Evelyn. Welcome, Carlita. Welcome, Mr. Martinez. Byron. Okay, welcome Evelyn. Welcome Byron. It's good to see you here again. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> okay. Good afternoon. We're gonna have a very interesting class today. So um today, what day is today? Uh-huh. Let me see if you can remember. Wednesday. 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 It's Wednesday. Wednesday, January. No, not January anymore. It's not January. <laughs> it's February. February. Exactly. February, the best month of the year. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> Yes, it's the month that reminds me that I'm getting older. <laughs> okay, so I don't know. I have problems with this computer. My computer is really old, guys. For Teacher's Day, you know what you can give me. Okay, Wednesday, January, February 2nd, 2022. Okay, today we are going to have uh, the topics about um, food around the world, food from other countries. And also we'll speak about adverbs of frequency. Okay, so we have two objectives for today. I would like Anita to read the objectives, please. Okay, lesson objectives. By the end of this class, you will learn about common breakfast food, breakfast food in different countries. Additionally, you will practice a conversation with illustrators some cultural difference in food. By the end of this class, you will learn how to use adverbs or frequency when talking about food. Okay. So the whole work yesterday was to investigate about, a, about what people eat in other countries. So we're gonna learn the cultural differences in food, right? And also you will learn how to use adverbs of frequency. For example, always, never, sometimes, hardly ever, usually. Those are the adverbs of frequency and we are going to learn them today. So let's look at the agenda. Byron, could you please read the activities in the agenda for us, please? Activity one, recall in previous class. <clears throat> Activity two, different breakfast around the world. Activity three, adverbs of frequency. And activity four, wrap up. Excellent. Thank you so much, Byron. Good. So yesterday we were learning about 
um, can, non can nouns, and also the use of some and any. For the use of some and any, we can use for both, for countable and non countable nouns, but we use some in affirmative statements. And any, what do we use or when do we use any? In negative statement in a question. Exactly. And in questions and in negative statements. So I have here like an exercise in which you have to look at the refrigerator, look at the fridge, look at the vegetables, the fruits, the use and other things in the fridge. You have to say if it's true or false if the statement is true or false, okay? So um, for number one, it says, uh, let me see, Juan, can you read number one and tell me if it's true or false, please? Juan Martinez? We cannot hear you, Juan. No le escuchamos, Juan. Tal vez ahí puede arreglar su audio. Okay, Evelyn. How do you say celery, teacher? What is... Okay, the, cuando quieran preguntar qué significa algo, la pregunta es... What's the meaning of? Um. What's the meaning of? O también pueden decir What does celery, in este caso, ¿verdad? What does celery mean? What does celery mean? Okay? Again, Evelyn, you can ask me the question one more time. What do you mean on celery? Celery is this. Apio. Ah, entonces, it's true. There's some celery. <laughs> it's true. And we are using some. Excellent. Yes, it's true. Okay, number two. Uh, Tatiana? There is an, an apple. Mm, is false. Quiero ver, quiero ver, quiero ver. Ah, bien, bien, bien. It's true. It's true. Okay. No hay una manzana. And that's true, right? But, but ¿cómo se dice quiero ver en inglés? I want to so. I want to see. <laughs> en, este en este caso que, que Tatiana dijo quiero ver, es como déjeme ver. Es, let me see. Let me see. Si quiere decir déjame chequear, let me check. Ok. Let me see. Thank you. Ok, number three, Carlita. Uh, there is a beetroot. A beetroot. A uh, beetroot. There is a beetroot. True? No. Mm, no. False. What is it? <laughs> ¿Cómo es la pregunta? In English. Uh, what is the meaning beetroot? Ah, what is the meaning of beetroot? Beetroot is remolacha. Ah, uh, is false. Well, I think this is because of the because uh -huh. of the leaf. I can see this is a beetroot. 
So there's a beetroot uh -huh. true. It looks like a radish, right? But because Rabano. of the Pensé leaf, que era rabano. it looks like a radish. Parece un mm -hmm. rabano. It looks like a radish. But if you notice the leaves, si ven las hojas, Así son las hojas de la ah, gama. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, there's a bit good. Okay, let's see. It's Jenny. true. It's true, exactly. Jenny Palencia. Number four, Jenny. There are some pairs. There are some pairs. True or false? Mm, true. Mm, what are the pairs? One. Las peras. Hay algunas peras. What are the pairs? ¿A dónde están las peras? So, number four is false. Okay? False. Yes, it's false. Very good, Jenny. Okay, number four. <laughs> ah, but it's an apple. Okay, number five. Uh, Anna? Uh, there aren't any strawberries. Mm -hmm. The false. It's false because we, we can see the strawberries and they look very delicious. Yes. <laughs> Okay, number six, maybe Mr. Mr. Martinez. I think he's having problems with the um, audio or internet, with the internet, I think. Okay, Byron. What about number six? There are some lemons. Is true. Yeah, that's true. And number seven, there are some carrots. True or false? Is true. It's true. Number eight, there aren't any oranges. True or false? It's false. It's, it's false because we can see the oranges over here. Great, great. What other? sentences can you make? What else can you see here? For example, there is a cucumber. There are some apples, right? What else can you mention? There are some juice. Ah, ahí decimos there is. There is. There is some there juice. Is. Yes, uh -huh. there Remember? Is some juice because yes. it's countable. <laughs> yes, the noun counts will always be singular. Mm -hmm. Good. So now, guys, I will send you a worksheet so that uh, you can do this exercise. It's also about the use of some and any. So I will send you um, via, via Zoom and also via chat, via WhatsApp, okay? So please go to the website and do the exercise.
In this exercise, you will find some uh, sentences and questions. You will see the options and you have to select what is the best option, a, an, some, or any. For example, the first one says, give me a banana, please. Give me a banana, please. Mm -hmm. Number two, are there? It's a question, so what is the best option? Any grape. Exactly, are there any grapes? Number three, I would like to eat. Me gustaría comer. Me gustaría comer algunos eh, ¿qué? chips, like churritos o tostadas. <laughs> I would like to eat some, some chips. Okay, ya me cargo el WhatsApp, ya les mando también al, al grupo. Ay, 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 permítanme chicos. How is it going, guys? Go. How is the exercise? Easy, difficult, a piece of cake. What is number four? Um. Mm -hmm. We need an apple and... Some cherries for the cake. Yes, I mean. Question number five is there. Any? Exactly. Any butter in the fridge? Mm -hmm. Please continue. I want a, a uh. hot dog, please. Wow, guys. Congratulations, you are very smart, very intelligent. You understand the topic and that's great. Sometimes this topic is difficult for some students, but it has been very easy for you. So congratulations. That means that you have studied, you have re review and practice, and that's great, okay? You send me the screenshot when you finish, please, okay? We don't have any milk left. I don't want.
Oh, I see you thinking, thinking and thinking. Your, your hamsters in your brain are running and running. <laughs> Working hard. Is there anyone that is difficult for you? We can do it together. Okay, guys, I think it's enough time. <laughs> Have you finished? Have you finished the exercise? Yes, no, maybe. <laughs> almost, Cassie, almost. Ah, yo creo que lo están haciendo varias veces. You are taking it many times, so you can get 10. <laughs> so you can get the right answers, and that's great. I'm going to share my answers. I got a mistake here, but it, I think it was a distraction. <laughs> okay, so here, for example, give me a banana, please. Are there any grapes? I would like to eat some chips. We need an apple and some cherries for the cake. Is there any butter in the fridge? 
I want a hot dog, please. We don't have any milk left. I don't want any tea, thank you. Does she drink any milk? There is an egg sandwich on your plate. Eat it, please. I don't like any vegetables. I need, I need a drink. Necesito una bebida. I'm hungry. I'll take some salad. That is the right answer, some. I think it was a, a mistake when I click. I'll take some salad. Have we got any potatoes? I'll make a tuna sandwich for you. Let's have an orange juice. Un jugo de naranja. Remember that this is uncountable and it's always singular. Do you want an orange? We've got some strawberries so we can make a dessert. There isn't any, it's negative, sugar. I'll have a chicken soup. Okay, so that is that. Those are the answers. Good. So now we need to continue with the next activity. And I think that I would like to listen to you talking about different food around the world, different uh, traditions, right? Or uh -huh, the traditional breakfast they have. We had an example here of Sara and Kumiko, and they have fish for breakfast. Can you imagine that? No, 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 I think that's not for me. <laughs> so we have this example. Good afternoon. Today, I'm going to talk about what people in Italy eat for breakfast. They eat, they eat scones, son esas, scones, or milk and cereal, orange juice, a Greek yogurt with fruit, and orange juice, and they always drink coffee, okay? So that's why you can mention. People in Ecuador, eat, they eat a lot of eggs. They eat like these things with made of plantain, tamales, or soup. Can you imagine eating soup in the morning? <laughs> so now, please, I don't know if you would like to do it in groups or do it. Vamos a ver, ¿cuántos lo hicieron? Vamos a ver eso primero. ¿Cuántos lo hicieron? Creo que los podemos compartir aquí, ¿verdad? Porque vemos poquitos. Six participants only. Ok, Carlita y Anita. Bye, entonces comience, Carlita. And then Anita. Luego Tatiana. Sí, first Anita. Ah, primero Anita, ok. First Anita, then Carlita, Anita. then Tatianita. I don't know if Evelyn. Evelyncita. Evelyncita. <laughs> Did you do it, Evelyn? Okay, then it's you. Uh, Jenny Palencia? Don't worry. If you didn't do it today, you can do it for tomorrow. No problem. And Byron? Well, we can start with Anita, okay? Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Today I'm going to talk about a Malaysian breakfast. It's an interesting breakfast. I'm going to see. I don't know if you see, it's like this. This is a Nazi Lemark. This is a principal dish of Mal people, Malaysia, Malaysia people. This consists in cooked rice with coconut milk, this, this, and anchovies. Is like that and boy eggs uh, and some sambal. Sambal is like a hot sauce. 
that they prepare in the morning. Uh, also, they put a peanut in uh, some vegetable like uh, cucumbers. And that's a principal dish for all Malaysia people. It depends to the it depends to the family. They put different teams uh, in, uh, in, in around to the to the rice. For example, can put fry fish, fry fish, chick, fry chicken, or fry meat. It depends to the fa the family or the people. Thanks. Thank you so much, Anna. Great job. Okay, would you like to try the Malaysian breakfast? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> because it's very hot. They, <laughs> they have a lot of spice. Oh. And I think that is bad for the stomach. <laughs> okay, for the stomach. Okay, for the tummy. <laughs> good, good. Okay, so now it's uh, Carlita. Carlita's turn. Carlita, are you ready? Okay, maybe she's having problems. So we continue with Tatiana and later Carlita, okay, Tatiana? Um, the most typical uh, English breakfast uh, they eat in Italia is uh, chocolate milk, uh, eggs, beans, bacon, and coffee. So that's an English breakfast. English breakfast. Okay, nice. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tatiana. Would you like to try that English breakfast? Bacon, eggs, beans. Very similar to our breakfast. Would you like to try? Good afternoon, Good afternoon Mr. Martinez. Now it's working. Great. Oh, okay. see, yes, of course. Mama. Very clear. <laughs> Evelyn. Uh, hi, teacher. In the uh, present in the Spain, uh, pasta with tomato. Uh, the ingredients. Ingredients: tomato, garlic, tapioca, salt, olive, olive oil, pit, salt, pit, thyme. Store all the ingredients in a bowl and flip them. <laughs> or Thank you, Evelyn. Okay, Evelyn gave us the, the instructions for the recipe. Uh -huh. <laughs> it was, was it a Spanish, a Spanish breakfast or meal? Breakfast. In, in Spain. In Spain. Uh, in in Spain. Spain, okay. Good, thank you so much, Evelyn. Okay, I think Carlita's having problems with the internet, but I don't know if Byron or Mr. Martinez is prepared. Are you prepared, guys? If not, tomorrow. A breakfast from a different country. You have to describe to the class what people in another country eat for breakfast. Yes, Byron? The the typical breakfast in Mexico is ranch eggs with tomato sauce. The ingredients is two eggs, tomatoes, and onions, and avocado. 
Avocado. Yes, delicious. Wow, ranch eggs. Mm, that that sounds yummy. <laughs> With one tortilla, right? <laughs> okay, thank you, Vida. Thank you for also mentioning the ingredients. The ingredients. Ingredients, okay? Nice. So now we have time to do the activity about frequency adverbs or adverbs of frequency. Well, <clears throat> Frequency adverbs, they tell you how often you do something, how frequent you do an activity, okay? We have this example, the structure is the subject, then the adverb of frequency, then we have the, the verb and the complement. You can also place the adverb of frequency at the start of a sentence, like in this case. Sometimes I eat breakfast, but the most common is the subject, adverb of frequency, verb, and complement. We have here this example. I always eat breakfast, which means every day. I usually eat breakfast, which means like 90% of the time. I often eat breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. I hardly ever eat breakfast and I never eat breakfast, which means never means 0%, nunca. When you make a question, it's like this. Do you ever have fish for breakfast? It's like, do you always have fish for breakfast? Yes, I always do. Sometimes I do, or no, I never do. So uh, this is why you, the way you can answer, right? We have other examples here. She never makes her bed. Nunca ordena su cama. She never makes her bed. My family always have dinner together. Oh, that is my family has. My family has, aquí me equivoqué. My family has, my family always has dinner together. I sometimes eat fruit for breakfast. So as you can see, we have the subject, we have the adverb of frequency, we have the verb, and we have the complement. It's easy. Now, always means Siempre, usually, usualmente, often, a menudo, sometimes, a veces, hardly ever, casi nunca, and never, nunca. We have more examples here. An adverb of frequency tells us how often something takes place. Always 100%, 90% usually, 80% normally or generally, 70% often, or frequently, 50% sometimes, 30% occasionally, 10% seldom, 5% rarely, rarely, raramente, raras veces, 0% never. And we have examples. Let's see. Eh, vamos a ver. Tatiana, ¿nos puede leer always the first sentence? I... I always get up at six o'clock. Wake up at six o'clock. Thank you. Byron, continue. I usually come home after work. Excellent. Mr. Martinez. Normally, Swim? Uh, I normally swim after school. I normally school. swim, yes, after school. Okay. Tatia, eh, perdón, Anita. I often spend Christmas with friends. Thank you. Evelyn? I sometimes play playing tennis on the weekend. Excellent. Uh, Carlita? Sorry, because I have problem with my computer. No problem. Um, I 
occasion, occasionally. Occasionally. I, I occasionally eat Vietnam. Ay, qué palabra. Vietnam. Vietnamese food. Thank you. Okay. Um, ¿Quién me falta? Um, continue, Tatiana. I seldom go to the library. Okay, excellent. Evelyn? I rarely listen to the radio. Good pronunciation. I rarely listen to the radio. Hey, Mr. Martinez, never. I never listen to rock music. You never listen. You never listen to rock music. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. Good pronunciation. So we have always, usually, generally, frequently, or often, sometimes, occasionally, seldom, rarely, and never. Okay? When adverbs and expression of frequency, there are also other expressions of frequency. These are the adverbs. The adverbs, como ya vimos, van antes del verbo. They go before the verb. But the expressions of frequency, they usually go at the end of the sentence, al final de la oración. So, so the expressions of frequency go at the end of the sentence. We have an example here. I take a shower twice a day. Me baño dos veces al día, twice a day. My husband does exercise three times a week. Mi esposo hace ejercicio tres veces a la semana, three times a week. So these are expressions of frequency. Every day, todos los días. Every week, cada semana. Every month, cada mes. Every year, cada año. Once a month, or once a day, or once a week. Or once a year, una vez, una vez al mes, twice a month, dos veces al mes, three times a month, tres meses al mes, tres veces, four times a month, cuatro veces al mes. Ahora, ¿qué necesito que hagan? Bueno, que usen los adverbs of frequency. Entonces, van a hacer oraciones usando always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, and never. Aquí le salen one, two, three, four, five, six sentences. And also, I would like to make other six sentences using the expressions of frequency. Remember, adverbs of frequency se usa aquí, ¿verdad? Entre la hora, entre el sujeto y el verbo. En este sería, por ejemplo, I always take a shower. O my husband usually does exercise. Or my husband often does exercise. Okay? Bye. Entonces, we are going to work on that. Vamos a trabajar en eso ahorita. También pueden mandar sus oraciones en el WhatsApp. O pueden escribirlas aquí en el chat. Good examples, Carlita. Just don't forget that when we use the third person singular, like my sister, you need to write the S to the verb. My, oh, my sister often writes letters.
I always take a shower. Okay, my brother sometimes plays. Carlita, no olvide ponerle la. The S verb. My brother sometimes plays basketball. My friend hardly ever eats fish and I never have, and I never play with toys. Well, sería así. I never play with toys. Are you about to finish? ¿Cómo vamos con las oraciones? Falta. <laughs> You're missing. Not finished. Not finished yet. Okay, Byron says, I always eat breakfast. I usually in supermarket. What does it mean, ING? My father often drives. Sería, no olviden, don't forget to add the S to the verb in the third person singular. My sister sometimes eats pizza. I hardly ever play by baseball. I never drink beer. That's good for you, Byron. Never drink beers. It's too expensive and not good for your home. Okay, because of the time, guys, vaya, me lo pueden enviar luego, ¿verdad? Por el tiempo, because of the time. Remember, this is a very short class. And, well, oh, I received another chat. Let's see. Evelyn, I always eat breakfast. I usually take a coffee in the night. Okay, I usually drink coffee at night. Drink coffee at night. I often go to the gym. That's great for you. I sometimes play soccer. My sister never eats fish. Okay. Okay. Tomorrow we are going to continue with this topic. Um, to ask a question about the frequency of activities, we use the question, how often? 
How often? Entonces decimos, how often do you eat pupusas? Cada cuánto comes pupusas o cuán a menudo? Oh, I always eat pupusas on weekends. Or you can say, I eat pupusas twice a week. Dos veces a la semana. You can see here uh, the president of the United States. <laughs> the ex-president. <laughs> Eating pupusas. Nah, just kidding. Okay. Oh, I received the other sentences. Let's check. Juan Martinez, I practice playing the piano every day. My son goes to school every day. We receive English classes every day. My family goes to the beach three times a year. My son goes to child time once a week. <laughs> Y Juan dice, muy rápido, teacher, give us more time. I know, but it's only one hour class. Okay, I'm going to send you the link so you can practice the order of uh, uh, the sentences using adverbs of frequency. And now I want you to tell me, to answer these questions. What are the adverbs of frequency? Vamos a ver, ¿quién me los dice a todos? What are the adverbs of frequency? Yo veo a Evelyn con ganas. Always, usually, often. Sometimes, eh, hardly ever, <laughs> never. Excellent, yay! Okay, and what are some expressions of frequency? The subject, eh, uh, adverb of frequency, subject, verb, uh, and complement. Very good, Tatiana. That is the structure, right? That is the structure of a sentence using adverbs of frequency. And do you remember the expressions of frequency that I showed you? The expressions of frequency? They go at the end. There is uh, four, three, three, four times a month, two times a month, three times a month, uh, every day, every month, every years. Weekend? Every weekend, every, every week. weekend. Uh -huh, exactly. Every week. Para decir una vez, no decimos one time. We say once. 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 Y para decir two times, decimos twice. 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 Once and twice. Once, twice, three times, four times, six times, etc. Okay, excellent. And what did you like in this class? In my case, in this class, I like uh, the adverbs or of frequency. Always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, and never. Excellent, Carlita. Carlita, would you like to share your your breakfast, the breakfast from another country, please? And I didn't breakfast. I do a dish, dish. Okay, a, a dish, a traditional dish. A traditional dish. Uh, the traditional dish are, that I have is gallo pinto. Gallo pinto is the traditional dish in two countries, Costa Rica and Nicaragua, but have different uh, Different ingredients. Ingredients. Mm -hmm. Ingredients, um, but it's the same. When uh, 
de we need to uh, we need to have rice beans corn and meat or pasta when when i make a gallo pinto in, in costa rica use rice beans milk corn fruits meat and pasta i don't know and the costa rica have a uh, different drinks uh, for instance sweet water fresh coffee beer and water i don't know but the the dish is gallo pinto i i didn't I didn't, no podría mostrarles la foto, I don't know. I cannot show, I cannot show. I cannot show the picture because I have problem with the camera on my cell phone. But you can, you can search in Google Chrome, Cayo Pinto, but I, that you had idea. Yes, because it's very similar. It's similar, but not the same as casamiento, right? Yes, it's similar. Yes, the casamiento, but I, it have the different ingredients when have gallo pinto. It, okay, gallo pinto Make, has sorry. different ingredients. Mm -hmm. Okay, they have different ingredients, but yeah, the most important ingredients, beans and rice. <laughs> Okay, yes. nice. So I um I want to show you the exercise that I will that you will uh, do to practice the order of adverse of frequency. In this exercise, you have to put the words in the correct order. For example, what is what would be the correct order? We have usually add Sally goes ten to o'clock bed. First is the subject. So who is the subject here? Sally. Sally. And then we need what? Usually. Usually. The adverb of frequency, exactly. Sally usually. Goes. Then the verb. Goes. Goes. Goes because it's the third person singular. Sally usually goes to bed at, at, at 10 o'clock exactly usually goes to bed at 10 o'clock excellent so that's what you're gonna do okay and that is gonna be the homework tomorrow guys tomorrow it starts day it's friday for you so tomorrow we are going to study and practice the questions how often how often? So if you can practice before the class, that will be great. Remember that this week you have to complete the section four and midterm, right? Okay. So it was a pleasure to see you today. Thank you for your preparation with the food from other countries. And I will see you tomorrow. Have a nice afternoon. Bye, Bye. teacher. Friends. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.